So hello everyone and welcome to this video. Um, in your projects you might be using a fancy Arduino Uno board for example or a more advanced blue pill board or you can actually be using just raw microcontrollers you program yourself from scratch. But you will find a common problem when you want to measure a voltage which is more than the operating voltage of the microcontroller you are using. So in this case a battery for example a LiPo battery or measuring a voltage of a lead acid battery or even measuring a voltage or the output voltage of a solar panel these things are actually having a voltage higher than the 5 volts in an Arduino Uno or the maximum voltage for an Arduino Uno which can be actually easily solved using what's called resistors to make what's called a voltage divider which you know divides the voltage so this is a very simple circuit with one volt voltage source and one ohm resistor and we can easily calculate the current by dividing the voltage by the resistance which will equal to one volt divided by one ohm which will result in one amp of current being drawn but this is a very simple circuit our circuit will have two resistors connected in series after each other to divide the voltage and you can see that we have here a 12 volt power source and a two 220 ohms resistor in series and at this point we'll have the divided voltage but how we do we calculate it is very simple we imagine that we have another resistor with the sum of two 220 ohm resistors which is 440 and you can just calculate the current drawn by these two resistors which will equal to 27 milliamps or 0.027 amps and at this point we know that the two resistors the current through the two resistors will be the same and at this point we'll see that we actually we are now having the current through the resistor and the resistance of the resistance the resistor sorry so we can easily calculate the voltage which will be the current times the resistance which will equal to around six volts and this is the voltage dropped by the resistor and to calculate the voltage at this point we just remove that 6 volts from the main voltage the 12 volt which will result in 6 volts in this circuit i actually have optimized it a little bit so the output voltage is always less than 5 volts as long as the input voltage is less than 12 volts and actually i you don't do all of these calculations to just calculate the output voltage uh, you just um, have a rule that you actually use it to calculate it and I will not go through the uh, algebra, uh, algebraic um, uh, calculations to calculate this rule but this rule is very simple and by using this rule you can see that at this point the voltage outputted will be 4.8 volts I will actually be testing this by a 12 volt power, so, uh, power adapter which is very cheap and we'll use uh, the two, um, the one 220 ohm and one 330 ohm resistor. But be aware to um, choose the right resistors because the two kilo ohm resistor is very similar in the color coding of the 220 ohm resistors. So this is a simple circuit, you can actually um, copy it and uh, make it yourself. And I will be using a multimeter to calculate the voltage at this point or the point where the voltage is divided and you can actually see that it's exactly 4.8 volts. But you know that voltage dividers does not supply a lot of current so they are not used for power sources because they will just drop that voltage and this might happen too. Now I will be connecting my Arduino Pro Mini to calculate the voltage truly and the code is very simple and the circuit is too very simple and uh, actually we have to reverse the rule so actually we are measuring with the, with the Arduino the output voltage so we need the input voltage so we just you reverse the rule. I will talk in more details about the coding on my website and of course the code is on github and there are links down in the description and in my site to it and you can see that's actually working like a charm and measuring the 6 volts in a decent resolution but there is one more important thing never disconnect the resistor connected to the ground because if you did that the 6 volts will directly go to the Arduino without 
passing on the voltage divider. And this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can visit my blog post, um, the link is in the description below. And thanks for watching and see you next time.